Well, it's time for another segment of How to Stay Married with my buddy James Sexton. Hey, James, good to see you again, man. Good to see you, Steve. Thanks for having me. All right, we got some folks in the audience uh, with some relationship questions, so let's get right to it. All right. Uh, Michael, Michael has some concerns about his wife's wardrobe. Yeah, hey, uh, hi, Steve. Hi, James. Hey, Michael. Um, I'm a, I'm a newlywed. I've been married about a year. Okay. And um, I love my wife. She's, she's beautiful. She's got an amazing body. And she, she loves to dress provocatively. Um, like, all of the, like, it doesn't matter what the weather is. It doesn't matter where she's going. She's wearing mini skirts and high heels. And I just feel like, as her husband, it's a little disrespectful to me. And I just wonder how I should go about this. What did she dress like when you were dating? Same thing. Um, kind of dresses the way she does now. I, I had That's why a, I asked her out. I, I had a feeling that might be the answer. Yeah. So. I gotta say at the outset, and I'm not trying to jump on you, but, but it, you know, this is a little bit on you, okay? So you, you knew what you were getting into here, you knew who you married. So now what do you do? Okay, I don't think you end up in my office if you, <laughs> thankfully, but I think you gotta address the issue. So how do you address it? I think the way you address it is you phrase it in a way that's not gonna be controlling of her, okay? Because I don't think you have a right to say it, unless you had a conversation with her before you got married about, hey, once we get married, I have a different expectation of you. Or if she made a promise to you that once we get married, I'm gonna do things a little bit differently. I think you wanna phrase this to her in a way that shows a lot of respect for her and that also acknowledges who she is. So I might say to her if I was you, you know what, I'm so, I think you're the most beautiful woman, but I think, you know, we're married. I wanna share parts, certain parts of myself only with you. And I really want you to share certain parts of yourself only with me. And I think there should be, you know, some parts of our lives, of our bodies, of the things we say and do that we should only share with each other. And, and I feel you're so special to me and I wanna be so special to you because that way you're phrasing it to her in a way that's respectful of her and that increases your level of respect for it doesn't turn it into a conversation about you controlling her or thinking low of her for being the woman she was when you met her, and they caught your eye to begin with. So that would be my best advice to you. Fair. Great. You got exactly what you wanted. You wanted her. Yeah. You wanted her because of that. It's going to come a time where she ain't going to be able to wear none of this. Because some things is going to happen. Yeah. It could be kids, age, combination. It's just gonna change. She ain't gonna wanna wear none of this, and she ain't gonna be able to wear none of this. Enjoy your youth while you have it. That's what I think. Thank you. Hey, if you like that video, there's more where that came from. Don't forget to subscribe and scroll down and hit that little bell while you're at it, too, to get notified every new video.